Day 19 Jesus Christ, a better high priest Today's scripture, Hebrews chapter 5, verse 1 to 7 Verse 5 In the same way, Christ did not take on himself the glory of becoming a high priest But God said to him, You are my son, today I have become your father and he says in another place, You are a priest forever, in the order of Melchizedek. During the days of Jesus' life on earth, he offered up prayers and petitions with fervent cries and tears to the one who could save him from death, and he was hurt because of his reverent submission. This passage compares the role of Old Testament high priests who were weak and mediated between humans and God to Christ as the eternal High Priest, appointed by God and perfect in righteousness. Human High Priest inadequacies highlight the need for Christ, who understands our weaknesses and has conquered death. Christ, as our High Priest, transforms us spiritually, reminding us that salvation is only through Him. An unshakable faith doesn't mean a life without challenges but trusting Jesus, who always hears our prayers. As God's children, we are sustained by His grace and invited to draw near to Him in intimacy. We now have Pastor Michael Yo from Church of Praise to come and share with us his reflection on today's write-up. Praise the Lord. Shalom everyone. Welcome to Day 19 of the NECF Pray and Fast. Now, our scripture reading today is taken from Hebrews 5, verse 1 to 7, which basically says that Jesus is appointed by God as our great and eternal High Priest. Now, as our High Priest, He first and foremost offers the perfect sacrifice for us. And secondly, He continually intercedes for us. And of course, He provides us with the much-needed grace and mercy. Now the question is this, how does this truth impact me in my journey as a follower of Christ? Well, one is this, confidence. I can come boldly to God. Hebrews 4.16 says this, Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our times of need. Now because of my inability to live a perfect life, there will be always seasons of self-doubt or even self-condemnation. But truly, I am grateful today that Jesus stands ready to offer His mercy and grace. Now, one truth that always encourages me and I hope will encourage you, approaching God's throne with confidence has nothing to do with our sense of worthiness, but it is more about His boundless grace and love for us. So today, if self-condemnation is dragging you down in any way, perhaps you may need to ask yourself this question. Do you fully trust that Jesus is your eternal High Priest and He will generously grant the grace and the mercy that you need in the most difficult of times? Second thing is compassion. I wish to not just live by the grace of God, but to live out the grace of God. Colossians 3.12 says, Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, with kindness, with humility, with gentleness and patience. Jesus, our High Priest, embodies compassion and empathy. Likewise, you and I, we are called to reflect these qualities when we interact with others. So, as far as I'm concerned, I strive to show understanding towards others, even though it may be difficult at times, especially when it comes to repeated offences. When the need arises, I offer support without condemnation. Someone says this, people will not care what I know until they know that I care. The third thing about this is that the word clemency comes to mind. I am reminded to extend forgiveness like Jesus. Ephesians 4 verse 32 says, Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ 
God forgive you. Just as Jesus, my high priest, offers forgiveness to me through his priestly ministry, we are called to extend the same grace to others. Someone put it this way, we are most like beasts or animals when we kill. We are most like men when we judge. But we are most like God when we forgive. Jesus Christ, a better high priest, our reading for today. Now in the face of life's challenges, could there be a greater hope than knowing that we have Jesus Christ as our eternal high priest? Jesus offers us a hope that is steadfast and sure, a grace that is boundless and a mercy that is new every morning. So brothers and sisters, let us embrace this truth live in its light and let it transform every aspect of our lives. Let us pray. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, thank you for giving us Jesus as our perfect high priest. Help us boldly today to believe in your grace, to compassionately care for others and to freely forgive those who have wronged us. May our lives reflect the love and grace of our High Priest, the Lord Jesus Christ, bringing glory to His name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's prayers. Lord Jesus, thank you for becoming our great High Priest. We commit to you, those who have not accepted you as Lord and Saviour, so that they will receive the grace of salvation through you. May you also grant us strength, comfort, and unshakable faith, especially for those serving in various ministries. For the next three minutes, you may continue to respond to God's Word and pray also for the following. 1. Pray that the aid and welfare services provided by the Ministry of Women, Family and Community Development would widen to benefit more vulnerable sectors of the community such as children, the disabled, senior citizens, the destitute, NGOs, and disaster victims. 2. Pray that Malaysian churches that reach out to the underprivileged communities would be well equipped to handle their challenges and that they would enable these communities to become self-sufficient. 